Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also do fun little videos here on YouTube. We're going to be showcasing the new update where they finally have shown us exactly what the new Scarlet Shovel and the Scarlet Hoe does. So let's get out there and do so. All right. Well, if you've watched my previous video where I basically showcased everything to do with the update, uh, you would have seen where I showcased, you know, how to now reinforce your items. So, uh, of course, scrap is back. So if you click on your reinforcement button or repair, it's now going to require scrap parts to actually get that back. So you can go back to your old routine of going, hmm, how to get easy scrap? Well, if you watch my previous video where I showcase, go ahead and make 55,000 shovels, put them all in here, do, 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 do. I kind of wish that this had more spots inside of it. And you can click that repair, uh, the uh, the scrap button. Now you got a bunch of scrap parts. You rinse and repeat, da, 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 da. Scrap again, la, 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 la. And now look at that, we have all the scraps. So we can go ahead and easily repair stuff now. And depending on what item it is, it takes less to, to obviously repair it. But sometimes they take a lot more. Of course, you know, it's going to be very tedious if you sit here with a ton of wood and just sit there and scrap a ton. But, you know, here's hoping that maybe down the road we can see this craft, this scrap, you know, or whatever this kind of have more inventory spots on it there probably will be a mod down the road i haven't seen many mods being made for core keeper just yet but i have heard in the, that there's whispers about them being a thing so i would expect that probably somebody might make that making it a lot easier just to get a lot more scrap but that being said like if i went to scrap for example the shovel um you know it doesn't oh let's see it looks like it gives you quite a lot more uh scrap parts for that it looks like we got 11 for that so ideally you know the return value you also do get some scarlet parts for that too but all in all, I, I don't think it's it's entirely worth it. I would still suggest doing my old route, which is making either, you know, wooden pickaxes or whatever you can make that has like a decent amount. If you want to make copper and just get the scrap from that, that's okay. Um, but anyways, then you go from there and you can easily use scrap parts to repair stuff now. And if you want to reinforce the set items, um, it tells you, you know, for example, uh, let's go ahead and bump up our fire staff. One scrap part and five wood, and it ups the fire damage to 22 uh, and also increases the burn damage as well. Let's go ahead and do that. And it makes a little line to show you how the durability got doubled as well. But that was also showcased in the previous video. Today, we're just going to highlight the hoe and the shovel. All right, so let's go to a biome, which we don't necessarily care about, and showcase exactly how it works now. So once again, they went ahead and said, okay, we understand that people like to actually dig up areas and go crazy, so they made it easier to do so, and faster, and depending on what type of uh, item you're using, obviously if you're using a wooden shovel, it's not going to be as crazy. So let's go ahead and showcase what a wooden shovel would look like if you used it on this turf. And it takes a few extra hits. So yeah, depending on what you're doing, the, you know, the Scarlet Shovel is probably going to be a little bit better for the terrain. And then now, the best thing that I've seen added is the Scarlet Hoe, which you can, like, literally go crazy with. Like, that's insane. I uh, probably shouldn't have done that, but oops. Uh, I'll put these back. We, no, nobody saw anything. Nobody saw anything. But yeah, so you can now dig up a ton, a ton of areas with your uh, with your Scarlet Hoe, and the durability is very good on it too. I've noticed that it doesn't necessarily like diminish that quickly, so you can easily say, "I want to harvest all these crops." Oh, uh, look at this! Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't that just make it so much easier to harvest all your favorite crops in like one specific like swoop? Like, look at this! Look how fast this is! Not only that, they're adding sprinklers to the game. Yeah, they're going to be adding sprinklers. Now, these actually were planted here for a reason. I don't know why I'm grabbing them all, but that being said, you know, it does, this will drastically increase my farming and all that stuff. So um, it's going to, you know, it's going to help to basically get your XP maxed out. Now, the problem that you got to worry about is exactly what you just seen just happen is if you are on a smaller turf, uh, which you can see that I, I am, um you're gonna be kind of taking the flooring with you which some people might say it's a little bit triggering when to see that so you got to be a little bit cautious because obviously uh, if you double hit it now what they've done is they programmed it so you have to hit the same area twice in order to dig up um the flooring so that's nice that they did that otherwise every time you went around in a circle you'd be digging up the flooring alongside everything else too so very smart on their, their part the devs from core keeper really think of everything they don't just you know, mess around and say, oh yeah, here you go. You're all good to go. They, they take their time. They make sure everything's nice and accurate and working exactly the way it should. So that way, anybody that goes to use their stuff is not, uh, you know, is, is not concerned that, for example, they're digging up their flooring alongside of uh, their crops at the same time too. 
And yeah, so those are the two items that just got showcased pretty heavily. And of course, in our previous video, if you haven't seen it, um, I basically went through the reinforcement. I went through all the things that they changed. Um, I went through the dedicated server options, how you can basically go through and ban people from your server, how you can uh, replace your game ID and that way nobody can join back in, how you can manage your players and your servers. Um, all that other stuff has been showcased in a previous video, which I will leave down in the description. But today, I just want to showcase the Scarlet Hoe and the Scarlet Shovel and talk to you about those ones because I think it's a really good addition. Stay tuned for the big, big, big update, which is which is happening in June, which I showcased in another video where they're talking about the sunken biome. It's going to be big. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for it. But anyways, I will see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you've enjoyed the videos. And tell me what you're excited about in Core Keeper. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.